Hi, it's Kevin from kevinsclassroom.com. We're going to do a number pattern now. Let us say that they give us a pattern made up of matchsticks or something that looks like that. And they give us this one. You probably have seen this a number of times before. But how do we do these? Um, I've actually put in too many with him over there. They've done that one. And then they give us this guy over here with the matchsticks like that. And like so. What do I say? I say, well, first of all, I go and I count off and I go one, two, three. So I'm going to count off on each one. And I say, I have got over here three in here. Then I go and count off one, two, three, four, five. And I say, I have got five there. Then I go and I count off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I write my numbers down underneath because those are going to be my terms, aren't they? So always count and tick it off just so that you make sure that you've covered everybody that you need to cover. The next one is you write it down as a number pattern, T2 and T3. And there was 3, 5 and 7 in each one. Always make it look like that. The next step with any number pattern is we look for the first difference, which is going to be 5 minus 3. It's T2 minus T1. The next one is going to be T3 minus T2, which is going to be 7 minus 5. Don't skip that step, guys. 2 and that's 2. Right, look here. Okay, we see they are the same. If they are the same, it's a constant first difference. If it's a constant first difference, move my page up a little bit. If it's a constant first difference, therefore, it is a linear pattern. My next step is to say, then I write down the formula. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. My next step is I now find the general term. Remember, Tn is like that. This is my first term. This is my number. There it is, term number. And this is equals D, my constant difference. And I put it in. The first term is 3 plus N minus 1 times D. And D was plus 2. Remember, D can be negative. What do I do next? Now I just remove the brackets. 3 plus 2N minus 2, which is going to be equal to uh, 3 minus 2 plus 2n, which is then going to be equal to 2n plus 1. And we normally write term n in front. So the order would be tn uh, 2n plus 1. So the next question, that is the general expression for tn, which actually means any term n doesn't it? So now they have said to us, now they say, um, how many matches in pattern number 10? So the question is, how many, how many sticks or matches or whatever in pattern 10? What do I do? I say, okay, can you see pattern 10 means term 10? Therefore, term 10 is going to be equal to 2 times 10 plus 1, which is going to be 21. Always fill it in the brackets. Don't simplify until you're right at the end. The next step is they say, the other way they asked is if I say, if we have 100 matches, how many... Um, patterns can we build? What are they saying? They're saying if we keep going with this pattern like this and we have got a hundred of these, how many of these completed blocks? So we have to make sure that we get completed, I'm going to say blocks or whatever you want to call it, right? How do I do that? What they have now told me is they've said, therefore, Tn is equal to a 100, and my question is to find N. 
Therefore, I say 100 equals 2n plus 1, correct? And my final thing will be, therefore, it's going to be 99 is equal to 2n. Therefore, n, I just brought it over, is 99 divided by 2. And my answer is going to be 49.5. But guys, we cannot have, we cannot have that, right? We can't have 49.5. I can therefore, therefore, we can only make 49 complete patterns. There we go. And if you go onto the website, you'll find that there's loads and loads of these that, I, that, that I've done on the, on the website. Cheers. Enjoy. Have a great day. Bye.